Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us on another episode here at 2020 Flight Simmers. If this is your first time joining us here on the channel, I would love to welcome you and suggest you go down below and hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel and lets us know we're doing a good job here. Today's video is all about the Pushback Toolbar Helper, and you want to know how to do it for free. So if that's you, stay tuned on 2020 Flight Simmers. All right, everyone. So we are back and today we are visiting flightsim.to. If you haven't seen my past video on the very best add-on website, then I'll put a link down below and I will show you how to navigate flightsim.to how to manage all your mods on their website so you know what's in need of an update and what you have already downloaded. So check that video out if you haven't done so already. So in this video uh, we're going to be talking about the toolbar pushback helper. So right here is the actual page for it on flightsim.to. I will also put a link down below in that. This app has just been recently updated for Sim Update 5, and the biggest thing that this toolbar pushback helper does for us now, from now on, the stairs, baggage loader, catering truck, fuel truck, they all stay at the aircraft until you manually dismiss the ground services. That was one of the biggest things that when you called for the catering baggage uh, and the various ground services that they would retreat after about a couple minutes, uh, they wouldn't stay at the aircraft. Again, I will post a link down below, but to download this fantastic mod, all you would do is left click on the download button. When you do that, a handy dandy screen is going to pop up here and show you that we are downloading. I've said this before, do not go off of this screen because it will not download. Once it starts downloading on your browser, you can go ahead and left click on that to open that up. There it is right there. It's going to put it right up at the top. All you need to do is bring over your community folder, go ahead and drag and drop it right in there. It will go ahead and appear right here in your community folder. And that is all you've got to do, folks. So now that you've got that in, let's go ahead and fire up the sim. Let's show you what it can do for you. All right, everyone, welcome back to the cockpit of the beautiful and majestic Fly-By-Wire A320. So again, the purpose of this video is to show you what the toolbar pushback helper can do for you. So we really don't need to fire anything up in here. We're gonna go right up to the top and voila. Your pushback helper is right there now, and from this menu, you can go right on the aircraft menu and request your jetway connection right from there. There you go. The jetway is now being connected to the aircraft. The next thing you can do is call for fuel, power, catering, and baggage from the ground services. You can also call for stairs. Now as you see, we've already got our power supply connected to the aircraft. Our catering is getting ready to start loading in the back of the aircraft. And baggage is pulling up right now. And there you go, folks. So uh, that is everything being loaded. And again, everything should stay here until you go ahead and dismiss that. So we'll go ahead and pull everything away from the aircraft, dismiss the jetway. You can also open and close your doors from this menu as well. Everything is dismissing themselves from the aircraft and backing away. Next thing that you can do is go to your pushback. You can call for the pushback tug. So you just tap right here on start pushback. So now that all the doors are closed, you can go ahead and hit the reverse, release parking brake, and there you go. You can now start your pushback with the tug. You can decide on the various speeds that you would want the tug to go. You can also control either left or right with your rudder pedals. So right now I'm pressing on the left rudder, and as you see, we are turning to the 
left. If I would step on the right rudder, it will then turn right. Then once you've gotten to your position to where you're ready to perform your startup, you can go ahead and hit the hold button. It will then stop the tug. You can hit and push back. The tug will push away. And you can also set your parking brake right from that menu. So everyone, that is it for today. I hope everybody got some information about the toolbar pushback helper. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you and I will go ahead and respond as soon as possible. If you haven't done so already, go ahead on there and hit that subscribe button, tick that little bell, smash the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And again, I wanna thank everybody for joining us here on this video at 2020 Flight Simmers. As always, keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one.